Today's deli counter is a dynamic retail environment, offering an ever-widening array of specialty foods from around the world. One of the legendary brands that keep customers coming back again and again is Prosciutto di Parma. Parma ham and Prosciutto di Parma are interchangeable names for this exceptional ham. Where Prosciutto di Parma comes from and how it is made is a centuries-old story, where time and tradition make all the difference. The European Union has certified Prosciutto di Parma as a protected designation of origin, or PDO food. PDO is a system that certifies the names of high-quality foods made according to traditional methods in a defined geographic region. Consumers, retailers, and distributors rely on the PDO system to help them distinguish between authentic products and their many imitators. The storybook countryside around Parma, Italy has produced some of the world's most sumptuous foods. This is the area where operas Giuseppe Verdi and famed conductor Toscanini were born. The magic is everywhere in the dry, sea-scented breezes that blow gently through the valleys. And like fine music, Prosciutto di Parma is a work of inspiration, a natural and succulent ham with a silky texture and a sweet, lush flavor. Prosciutto di Parma is made only in the countryside near Parma and only from the hind legs of pigs that are born and raised on approved farms from one of 11 designated regions of northern and central Italy, where they're fed a diet of maize, barley, cereals, and whey from the making of Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. Authenticity and food safety are ensured by a traceability system, with each step of production monitored by the Consorzio del Prosciutto di Parma. Unlike most hams, Parma ham is all natural and contains no nitrates or other additives. Pork, air, salt, and thyme are the only ingredients. At the processing plant, or prosciutto ficio, the hind legs are massaged with coarse sea salt, then chilled for a three-month period. They are then washed and moved to large, airy rooms, where the windows are often open to the aromatic breezes that help dry and cure the hams. In the seventh month, the cut surfaces are covered with softened lard to control the rate of drying. The hams are then aged in cellars for another five months minimum. By the end, each ham has lost 30% of its original weight, thereby concentrating the flavor. After curing for at least 400 days, hams that pass a final inspection for superior quality are fire-branded with the five-point Parma crown, the official certification mark of Prosciutto di Parma. Upon arrival at your deli, checking for the Parma crown is your assurance that you're offering your customers authentic Prosciutto di Parma and not an imitation. Each Parma ham has a number of inspection stamps and markings that can be used to trace each step of its production. For example, the metal seal that is attached at the beginning of the salting stage indicates the date that processing began, which can be used to calculate the age of the ham. Prosciutto di Parma is aged a minimum of 14 months. Longer aged hams, up to 18 and even 24 months, are the premium hams preferred by the most discriminating customers. A boneless Parma ham weighs between 15 and 17 pounds. Unopened in its vacuum pack, it can be stored up to six months, refrigerated at 40 to 45 degrees. Once the vacuum seal is broken, the ham can be held under refrigeration for up to 40 days. To begin cutting and slicing prosciutto di parma, remove the skin covering the portion to be sliced and leave about half an inch of the outer layer of fat, which is necessary to achieve the best flavor balance. The fat around a slice or running through the ham should be white or rosy in color. Trim away any oxidized area at outer first slice. Color should range from pale to deep rose. Prosciutto di parma is almost always sliced paper thin set your slicer to 1 16th of an inch thickness. Slicing should always be done as customers place their orders, never in advance. Lay slices side by side on deli paper, covering each layer with paper. Lay slices, cover and loosely fold the layers, over wrap and tape closed. A skilled deli handler knows how to store, slice, and wrap prosciutto di parma, but that's not all. 
End pieces too small to slice can be diced or julienned and sold by the ounce as a topping for pizza, pasta, or salads. Offer customers a free sample taste to introduce or reacquaint them with Prosciutto di Parma's succulent texture and flavor. If your deli has a prepared foods operation, featuring Prosciutto di Parma in sandwiches and other items will be an instant hit with shoppers looking for a delicious packaged item. All natural Prosciutto di Parma is also available pre-sliced in convenient refrigerated packages. By law, Prosciutto di Parma can be packaged only in the Parma region. The black triangle logo with the gold crown and a detailed system of package dating ensure high quality and authenticity. Always be willing to spend some time explaining the premium qualities of Prosciutto di Parma to customers. It's personal service that makes the deli experience. Recipe brochures are available for point of sale display that offer ideas for cooking with Prosciutto di Parma in dishes that range from main courses to sandwiches and salads. Your supplier can provide these or they can be ordered at info at prosciuttodiparma.com. The Prosciutto di Parma you sell today is a 100% natural premium product of uncompromising quality and exceptional flavor. With good handling, display and merchandising, Parma ham will exceed your customer's expectations every time and be a major ingredient in the continuing success and profitability of your deli.